Hey guys, welcome to Son of the Pizza Man. My name is Enzo, and today we are talking about olive oil. The only one who could ever need me was the son of a pizza man. So, the lovely people over at Corto uh, sent me some olive oil to try, and I thought it would be fun to make a focaccia. So, uh, this is their 100% uh, extra virgin olive oil, it's their Truly brand. And a little bit about Corto, their whole thing is they harvest their, their olives uh, earlier than most olive oil producers. So the taste of the olive oil is a lot fresher, a lot cleaner. Um, yeah, so we're gonna kind of see if that's actually true. Uh, and I thought I would kind of kill two birds with one stone with the focaccia. We're gonna make kind of a, kind of a pizza and then also at the same time try the olive oil. So I think it'll be fun. Also, there just happens to be a focaccia recipe on the Corto website. So that's the one that we're gonna be making today. So the dough is very wet. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this wet. It does say to add flour to it um, if you need to. So I might have to end up doing that, but um, yeah, I hope I'm doing this right. Okay, so I've added, I feel like a lot of flour, I'm not sure, but it's finally getting to the consistency where it's like manageable. So I'm gonna try to just knead it until it's smooth and elastic as, it, as those instructions say, so we'll see. Okay, so I have been kneading this thing for about 10 minutes now, and it's still a little sticky, so I'm not sure if I can get it too smooth and elastic. I really don't wanna add a ton more flour, because I feel like I added a good, um, almost cup, probably, maybe like three quarters, and I feel like, I don't know, I just don't wanna do that, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it let it be for now. Um, that might be a mistake, that might not be, I don't know. So we're just gonna do that. So the next step is to let it rest for about an hour. And you just cover it, let it rest, and yeah, then we'll we'll be back in an hour. Okay, so it has been about an hour and the dough uh, doubled in size. This thing is so big. Uh, so let's see what we have under here. Hopefully it won't stick too much. It's sticking a little bit. I, I dampened the towel so that it would be a little easier to remove. It's still a little doughy, but it's fine. So here we have this giant mound, mound o dough. It's still very sticky and wet. The next step is to transfer it into a pan and then let it rise again. But I think I have to kind of beat it down for a second. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna flour it just a little bit so I can handle it a little easier. I have my scraper here, so I'm just going to do one of these things. Again, I don't know if this is what it's supposed to look like, but I'm just 
gonna assume it's gonna be okay. But yeah, it just says to knead, but I don't know how much more kneading I can actually do. Cause yeah, it feels exactly the same as before, but so I'm gonna knead it for a second. See what happens. I mean, it does feel a little uh, less tacky, but it's still a little hard to handle. So, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna transfer it into the pan. Uh, so let me get my pan. So this is the pan I'm using. I actually used this for my Detroit style pizza that I've made uh, a while ago. And I did have an issue with it sticking. So I'm hoping that with enough oil on the pan that it will not stick as much or at all, hopefully. So we'll see. So I'm, I'm, I'm praying that that doesn't happen again. So here's the pan and we're gonna oil it with our oil. So the instructions just say to grease it. So I'm just going to be liberal with the oil. Spread it around. The sides. So the pan is greased. I'm going to transfer the dough into the pan and then stretch it out so that it fits the pan. And I'm not sure. So the instruction said to roll it out into a rectangle and then place it into the pan, but I feel like that would be a lot harder to do versus just doing it in the pan. But I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I should have just followed the instructions of the tea, but I'm just gonna do it this way and see what happens. So yeah, it's, it's shrinking back, so it's not um, allowing me to stretch it. So I'm just gonna let it chill. Uh, the instructions say to let it sit for another hour to double in size. So that's what we're gonna do. And I will check back with you in another hour. Okay, so it is an hour later. This is the second proof. So the next step is to poke some holes into the sfikasha and then drizzle some oil in there and then stick it in the oven. And then it bakes for about 25, 30 minutes. And then we just let it cool and then we eat. So let's get to poking. Look at that. Look at that beauty. All right, so it's very, it's very, risen so they say to so they're saying to flour your fingers and then poke holes into the dough so my fingers are floured so i guess i'm just going to do one of these things and reflower them boop boop I mean, I think flowering, it definitely, it's definitely helping with it not sticking. So I'm just gonna, I don't know how many holes to poke, but I'm just gonna. Just 
do this. Okay. That's probably okay. And then I'm going to pour some more of the olive oil on top. It doesn't say how much, so I'm just going to drizzle. I'm assuming that is good. So yeah, that's our focaccia. So let's get it into the oven and then I will see you in another 30 minutes or so. All right, so the focaccia is out of the oven and here it is. Ooh, ah, ooh. Uh, so I do get a very, it's very fragrant of oil. So I can definitely smell the olive oil, which I'm very excited about. So the last thing I need to do is to let it cool down and then sprinkle some, you're supposed to sprinkle flaky sea salt, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna use regular salt. Do a light little sprinkle and then a little more olive oil. Uh, I don't know if it needs more olive oil, maybe, but um, I'm gonna give it 10, 15 minutes and then I am going to dig in because I am really hungry and I wanna see how this tastes. So be back in a second. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes later and we are finally, finally, finally ready to try this guy out. So the last thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle it with some salt. And then a little bit of, a little more olive oil. Cause you can't have too much olive oil. Probably too much, but oh well. <laughs> so I'm curious to see if this actually stuck to the pan or not. So let's, so it's definitely releasing from the pan, which is nice. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to move it this way, get my cutting board and um, yeah, actually let me get a bigger cutting board. <laughs> so let's transfer this to cutting board. So let's look at the, the booty. Booty looks okay. It could be a little darker but I think it'll do. So I'm going to cut this right down the center. And, and we don't have Fakash. <laughs> so this, this is, this is what I was afraid of. Uh, I wasn't sure if I would get like a focaccia texture with the, the dough, that, dough that I have. I'm not sure where I went, wow, words. I'm not sure where I went wrong, but yeah, this is just kind of like a dense bread, uh, but it's still gonna be tasty. It's still bread, so I'm not mad, I'm not mad about it. So let me just cut off a little piece. So yeah, here we go. It's bread. <laughs> I made bread. Um, yeah, okay, so let's see if we can taste the oil uh, because there's a lot of oil in this. So hopefully we get some, some kind of oil flavor. It's nice, it's a nice, it's a nice flavor. Um, it's very soft, the bread itself. Um, yeah, let me, let me. Do one of these things. Just gonna, oop, too much. Oh well. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna try it with some straight up oil from the, from the bottle. It's tasty. Yeah, I like it. Um, I am bummed that it didn't turn into focaccia necessarily, but that's fine. Uh, I have bread now, so I could just totally slice this up, 
use it as sandwich bread or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that was my focaccia experiment. Thank you again, uh, Corto, for sending over some of this olive oil. Uh, it will definitely be put to good use. So, um, and thank you for watching as always. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. You can just hit this button down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Also, I am all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And until next time, ciao for now.